Oh goodness gracious. He's a puller. Yes sir. I hope I keep him. Mm-hmm. Easy there, buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whew. That's a good one. Oh man, that's a good one. Well hey guys, we are back and we're going out to some crappie. We're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be using a slip bobber, some bobber stoppers, and a hand tied jig. I'm going to show you guys how I like to jig for these crappie. And uh, the thing is, I like to use hair jigs or hand ties for this kind of technique because the, they kind of just flutter in the water like that right there. Looks realistic when it's just sitting under the cork, not even moving. So that's a good thing to keep in mind if you're going to try this. But yeah, we're going to try to catch some good crappie guys. Let's see what we can do. Well, guys, here's the lure we're using today. It is a Thill 1 8 cork. That's a crappie cork. And then we got down here, we got us a gold and chartreuse jig. And the head was gold, but I painted it black because I know they like black in here. But anyway, I tie these jigs with a trialing knot so that jig, so I can control that knot and keep that jig horizontal. See what I'm talking about? And if you have a loop knot, it's going to hang straight down. Now, I like a loop knot without a cork because I flutter it around, you know, jigging and stuff like the beetle spin. But this kind of setup, what I want is, is it just like that so I have all the control. Then I got a small bobber stopper on top. If you use a small one, they're tighter on the line, but you just got a tiny hole on top of that cork. And then on the bottom, you got a pretty good hole, so I use a large. And I slide the bobber stopper on the bottom so I have complete control. Now, as I pop and, and pull and tip the the cork while it's casted out there it's lifting my jig up and down just like that and what that does it's it's going up and fluttering down up fluttering down up fluttering down looks very realistic to the fish but that right there guys that's the lure setup that we're going to be using to catch these crappie with an easy technique to use cast it out there let it sit and then just pull stop pause pull stop Pause. There he goes. He was on it. Ho, 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 ho. See if we can get him to bite again. But yeah, that's that's basically what, what you want is a pull stop pause. Slide that cork back up there. Alright. Try him again. We might actually find a mess of them. Let it sit. Pull. Stop. And pause. Pull stop and pause pop pop do different things and see if you can get them to bite too there he is oh yeah easy baby <laughs> he feels pretty good and i can get him on around here yeah he's a good crappie i need to tighten my drag a little bit I'm making sure we can net him Oh yeah, he's a pretty one. But yeah, he likes it. Oh yeah, he's he's ten and a half. We'll take him. Now, here's another technique, guys, is you can use like if you miss the fish or you just want to fish really slow, you want to cast it out there, and then all you want to do is just pop and leave it pop. You're not really moving it. You just you're just wiggling it. Pop, 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 pop. Now you're just keeping some action going on and sometimes that draws them and they'll strike it. That's another little technique right there that definitely works good at times. But you want to try different, different things. Pop, pop, stop and pop, stop and then pull four to six inches and stop. Different techniques because you don't know exactly what they want. So if you just keep trying, you'll figure it out. You'll, you'll say, oh, they want that. And then you'll be on some crappie. And once you find them in an area, keep focusing on that area because there's probably more in that one spot. A lot of times crappie school up. There he is. They school up together. And, oh, man, this is a good one. Oh, oh, baby, come on. <laughs> I'm going to try to get my net here. Ah, he's not as big as I thought he was, but he is a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Got some pretty crappies. Pretty crappies in here. Let's see what we got there. He's he said 11 and three quarters. But yeah, he's a good thick crappie. We'll take him. See if there's one on top of that log. That's about on top of it. There he is. Oh, he's a good one. Come on, baby. Stay on. Oh, man. Man. That's a good one. <laughs> we got him. Man, that's a thick old crappie. <laughs> oh, let's look at him. Wow. <laughs> that is a pretty one guys man he's hanging out there he's 13 and 3 quarters 13 and 3 quarters he's a dandy oh man that's a pretty crappie yes sir <laughs> we'll take him get way back up in the oh I didn't want to go that quite that far I don't want to get snagged in there or nothing. That's one thing you don't want to do is get snagged where you're catching fish. Because then, then you have a mess. You scare them off. But if you can just keep in there and get close and without disturbing the, the top, you got a good chance. Oh, goodness gracious. He's a puller. Yes, sir. I hope I keep him. Mm-hmm. Easy there, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whew. That's a good one. Oh, man, that's a good one. Man, that's a pretty crappie, too. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That's a beautiful crappie. Boy, he is thick. See what we got on the length on him. He's a little over 13. Solid, solid crappie. Man, that's a good one. We'll take him. Pull, stop, and pause. That's what it's all about. For me. <laughs> when I'm jigging bobber, that's my favorite style right there. I had the most success with that but when they're aggressive I'll do that pop pop stop for sure but that them long pauses I should be pausing a little longer because it definitely makes a big difference when you pause a little longer especially on them big ones they, they they're a little more ticky so the longer you pause the better chance you got of getting him to hit it it looks like a good spot to I mean I don't know if there's anything in between there but oh yeah I don't know if I'm gonna keep him that was a tough bite but he feels good <laughs> yeah he's a pretty good one. we'll get him on in here oh yeah they were some fish over there <laughs> uh-huh Good fight crappie right there. He's ten and a half. These old guys are thick. Pretty black crappie. We'll take him. Well guys, this is the rod and reel we're using today. It's an Alba Garcia Max X10 light spinning reel. What I like about these, they got a 5.2 to 1 gear ratio. They're pretty quick. And uh we got her spooled with six pound test high vis Mr. Crappie fishing line. And the rod we're using today is a Shakespeare micro series light action rod. And it's a five foot six. It's got a good sensitive tip. So you feel the thump and the bite, you know, and it's got a good backbone to set that hook and uh, fight that fish. But guys, I keep a, a link in the description box. If you go down below and click on the word more, 
it'll open it up and you'll see all my tackle and stuff and you can check these out click on the links and it'll take you there like these are i have these in amazon you can purchase some right there or you can go around and look for them you know that walmart carries the rods the reels are kind of hard to find bass pro shop academy sports a good place to look other sporting goods stores may carry them but online is easy way for me pressure on him. Oh, he's a good one. Come on, baby. Ah, he's not a giant, but he's a good one. <laughs> Solid crappie. Man, thick old back on him. Yes, sir. These old guys, <laughs> these are some fun fighting fish. Man, he's pretty, he's a beauty. Let's see what we got here. He's a 12 incher. Look how thick these are, guys. Man. Thick old backs on them. Solid fish. We'll take him. But, guys, what you want to do is follow the bait. Um, especially, like, I ain't even got my graph hooked up. I got it, but I, I just never even hooked it up today. I'll just start focusing on fishing and started bumping into a couple of them and if you know if it gets hard i'll put that graph on there and try to look for a couple see where they're hanging out at but mainly it's just trying to follow the bait you see little flickers on the water and it looks like bait fish you're probably going to find a crappie they still might be stubborn as all get out but you just got to keep on fishing them try to get them to bite yeah they're they're in here yeah they're always around the bait that's their food source they're keeping up with that one more through here i'm thinking about <clears throat> right in there it might be a zone they they're in because i caught one over here seen bait over there yep yep he's there him bait on the other side and he was there <laughs> i barely got a hook set on him but i got him <laughs> all righty yeah he's not a giant but he's a good one he looks like he's a keeper size oh yeah he's 10 and a half pretty black crappie we'll take him Stop and pause. Pull, stop and pause. And there he is. Oh yeah, we got him. <laughs> If we can keep him. Easy there, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. These old crappie are solid guys. <laughs> oh man, they are solid. Uh-oh. About to get tangled up here. There we go. Look at that thick old back on that dude. <laughs> man. Thick old tails on them. Pretty old crappy. Alright, let's see what we got on him. He is 12 and a half. 12 and a half and a fat boy. We like it. We'll take him. Well guys, I want you to check out my net. It's a Placino. It's adjustable. It's about a meter long or a yard has a little aluminum beam going all the way around it's got a big open mouth 
and it's coated with uh, rubber and it has a flotation device on it. Check this out, guys. You ain't going to lose that net. <laughs> I've lost several nets by kids poking them in the water and letting them go, but this one's a little different. It floats. Now, if you drop it in the boat and drive off and leave it, you might lose it. But other than that, you ain't going to lose this net. And it's got a, what I like is the big mouth. I can scoop in big fish. It don't have that. I used to use a little triangle net and I really had trouble getting around some of the bigger fish. This one man is just real easy and it's short. This is basically a one person net. It's not too heavy. You can get that fish up there and scoop him in. That's exactly what I like. But guys, I have a link to this, uh, their website down below in the video. Just, and uh, you can go out there and check out their stuff. You put in the code fish anchor and you can get a 10% discount off of anything in their store. But yeah, guys, that's the net I like to use right there. Sometimes you want to go down away from where you was and pull from a different direction too if you can. That helps out too. Gives them a different look. Hitting it from a different angle makes all the difference. Oh, see what I'm talking about? He's there. He's a little bitty guy. <laughs> I mean a tiny one. Well, I mean, I've seen them smaller, but we talking like, what is he? Seven and a half. Pretty little black crappie though. Later. Hey. Hang on, let me get this fish in. Oh man, I'm about to lose him. Oh, he's a pretty good one. He got another one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Hey, see how long he is. Almost 11, we'll take him. Well guys, if you like this jig and bobber video, don't forget to hit the like button so I'll know. That way I can make some more videos like this. I have another one. It's gonna be put right here for the people who wanna get some more tips on that. And I was fishing in February, really cold month but I like wore the, the crappie out and there's a big old stringer at the end. You'll see it guys, but there's some really good tips in there. I had a little rant because somebody called my 12 inch fish at under 10 and I had to show them how I measure on my pole and stuff. You can see that, but once you get past that, it ain't nothing but good fishing and a lot of tips. Hope you enjoy. Later. Mm -hmm.